Hey everyone, this is one of the bags I'm considering letting go. This is my Speedy Bandolier in the 35 size in the Dami Ibin. It is the best made Speedy that I own. I have three in total, including this, the Speedy B25 in Dami Ibin as well, and then the Speedy BB in lambskin, which was a seasonal piece. The reason why it's the best made is because this is the most clean, symmetrical, well done, tidy, speedy. And I've been through a lot. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I actually purchased a few, returned, felt like they were defective or just wonky. And you can see there's like no, I don't know, it's just a beautiful bag. So why am I considering letting it go? Well, I use this primarily for travel, for like short trips, overnight trips, and lately I've been gravitating much more towards my MZ Wallace bag. I don't know why, it's just a totally different bag, and this has been sitting in my closet just looking pretty, so I think if I'm not using it, it's time to let it go. I might regret it down the road, but I've never actually once regretted letting go of any of my bags in the past. I've stored some twillies in here, these were for the handles, the dust bag, the lock, everything, the the box. I've got everything, including the receipt. This is the original strap that it comes with. And then I also have this right here, which is the strap from Dress Up Your Purse. This is much softer and it's double-sided so you can do the pop of red to match the interior. So there's two straps. And then there's my Zimoni insert inside to keep the structure. So I'll pull this out to show you. It's basically in like new condition. It is absolutely pristine because you guys know I'm pretty OCD and I take really good care of my bags. So this is the matching Zumoni organizer. It's a game changer. I don't like when my speedies sag. And here's what it looks like with the zippered compartment. And I have thought about selling this for a few months now, but every time I think about it, I'm like, no, no, no. I'm never gonna be able to find another well-made, beautiful Speedy like this in this size because I've been through a few, um, I had to kiss a few frogs to find this prince. It's made in France. I got it direct from the boutique. My sales associate knows how picky I am and she was very happy when this came in. She was like, this one's perfect. And um, you can see the, crease, the creases are very minimal. Because if you don't know, the speedies always come flattened like a pancake. They're folded down. But I've stored it in a way that the creasing has come out. And it just looks, <laughs> looks so good. So I may change my mind by the end of this video. But this is the hardest one of the bags I'm going to share. I think I have 10 bags I want to share with you in this video. So let me know what you guys think. If I should just hang on to this. Or you know, if you're in the same mindset that if it's not being used... Just let it go. Let someone else enjoy it. Um, I know that if I let this go now, I'm probably never going to be able to get it back because with the quality issues these days and the price increases, I just don't think I'll be able to stomach getting another one down the road. So I need to be 100% sure that once I let it go, I'll be happy for the buyer and I'll be able to move on. But let me put this all back in. And you guys let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below. So that's bag number one. All right, next one is a super well-loved and old bag from Tory Burch. This was my go-to work bag for many years when I went into the office every single day, commuted every single day. This is all nylon, and then it's got the Safiano leather on the handles, and then you've got the Tory Burch hardware on the front. This bag is at least 7, maybe 10 years old. It's got... Some wear on the bottom, as you can see, but the corners are pretty much intact, which is kind of unbelievable considering how much I wore this bag. Just, it was my regular. This is well, well, well before I started my channel. I was very much into Tory Burch. Don't underestimate these mid-tier brands. The quality and the longevity of some of these bags is really, really kind of makes me question sometimes some of the higher end designer brands branded bags. So I'm going to open, I've got other bags in here which I'll show you in a minute because these are also on the chopping block. But here's the problem. There is a stain on the inside here. You see that? I think this is from a drink. This bag is so old I don't even remember. It must have been from a drink like a or a snack or something on my way or maybe it was like a banana that exploded. I don't know, it doesn't smell like anything. I tried and I have washed it, but it stained. Like I pulled this out, the lining, and I've washed it with detergent, but it's just, yeah. So there's that stain. You've got the two open pockets here, hidden magnetic closure for security, and then a zippered compartment. Look at the hardware, it's still pretty good, you guys. 
And so this I'm thinking maybe I will drop off at the thrift shop that I know downtown because they take bags as well as clothes and I've sold a few things there. I'm not going to get much for it. This was also for the longer strap, which I have since lost. I don't know where it is. So, um, or maybe I just got rid of it because honestly, every single time I grabbed this bag, which was a lot, I just wore this on my shoulder. Look at the handles. I cannot believe. I would think by now the handles would just be like shredded, but they look like new. It's sort of crazy. So kudos to Tori Birch. Oh my gosh. Look at the seams. Nothing. No thread loose. Nothing coming apart. Right? It's just the base that's got a little bit of wear. Heavy, thick, soft, silky nylon. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Do I just keep it and use it whenever? I mean, I just have too many bags. It's embarrassing how many bags I've accumulated now. And I really want to clean out my closet, declutter, be, you know, um, ready for the new year, make space for the new year and not hang on to these things that are from my past. So I think unless anyone is interested, um, I'm going to just drop this off at the thrift shop and maybe get like, I don't know, 40 bucks for it or something like that. Maybe not even. And if they don't take it, because sometimes they have a lot of inventory, then I will just drop it off at the donation center near me. There's a church around the corner that takes donations, and maybe this could be somebody's work bag for a few years. So there's that. And then inside this bag was this here. You guys might remember this was one of the bags that my daughter had asked me to save for her, but she has since changed her mind because, you know, she's a growing gal and her tastes are evolving, and she loves this color, and I love this color, and I wore this bag so much as well. This bag is also about five to seven, maybe close to 10 years old. All of my Tory Burch bags have been around for a long time, which means the quality is really nice because we know that quality was just better on most items back then. So here it is. It's got this envelope style really classic two buttons here so you can use whatever option you want it's got the lining with the Tory Burch logo all over it's just a gorgeous color I wore this a lot in the spring and summer so it's kind of like a wallet on chain style but bigger so you've got all these card slots and then you've got this slip pocket here you've got two pretty roomy pockets here another one up front so yes largest iPhone Pro Max with case it's all gonna fit you've got the zippered compartment for extra security if you want it to put some items in you've got these little rings here so you can add the chain and I like that this is completely removable so you can just wear this as a clutch right which is really nice back pocket by the way bonus yes very well thought out piece I love this for so many years and it's adjustable. So you've got one, I think there's another hole under your two, three, four, five holes to adjust to your height. You've got the buckle detail here. So I think it's just a really nice bag if you're looking for a classic envelope style clutch slash crossbody bag slash shoulder bag. And you can see it works on the first snap or on the second snap, either one. It's kind of cute like this and it's pretty long. So this one here, beautiful. It's like this orangey red. This was also one of my favorite bags. This is at least, again, probably in the five to 10 year range. No, definitely more than five years, maybe seven to 10 years range. This is from Everlane. If you guys are a fan of Everlane, it's made in Spain. It's a beautiful, rich leather. It's got this long strap, which is attached. It's not removable and it's got all these holes, so many holes for adjustment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it eleven? I don't know. At least ten holes. And then you've got this extra tab to keep it nice and tidy. So the reason why I bought this is because I loved this oversized, flat, simple, minimalist. Even back then, I loved that it was like a simple silhouette. Um, and it's secure. So it folds over like this. You can actually open the bag from here. But you could also open it from here. So you've got two different options. So your hand goes right through, right? Let me take this all out. This is how I've been storing it. Now this bag always made me smile. It's a very cheerful color. It's a really nice pop. And it's got the raw lining, which feels so nice. So let me close this up. And so much fits in here. Now here's the thing. I have considered, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I have considered cutting this off because it's not removable, the strap. It's like stitched on to the inside. I've considered just snipping this off. I know it's kind of like ruining the bag, but because I really like this sort of like soft kind of organic fluid 
oversized feel to just wear as a clutch underneath. Just like this, it looks really nice with a coat and you just throw it over like this. I mean, there might be a time when the strap is needed, so that's why I've not butchered it and clipped it off. But yeah, I kind of go back and forth about this bag. It's really nice. It was a bestseller and it sold out and then they discontinued it. So it's no longer available. I remember it was really popular when I first got it. Let me give you just a quick size reference. Here's an iPhone 13 Pro Max case, just to give you an idea of the sizing of this. And then here's a mini pochette to give you a sense as well. I can do that with the blue Tory Burch one as well. You can see. And here's the mini pochette. Okay, so let me know what you guys think of my idea to snip this off and just use this as a clutch, or should I leave the integrity of the bag as it is, leave it alone, and pass it on, sell it, give it away. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this is actually the last Tory Burch bag I'm gonna show you. This too is at least seven to 10 years old. I wore this a lot for just everything, running around with my kids, for work, for the beach, the park. So it's got a unique bicolor situation. So it's like this light sky aqua blue, and then it's got this tan contrast on the handles. And again, the handles are amazing. There's no like, oh, you know what? Underneath there's a little bit of wear, you see that? It's actually, the leather is not worn or cracked or anything. It's just a little bit of staining. Like, you know what happens on Vaquetta leather when you have lotion on your hands? That's what I'm seeing here. So I thought from the oils of your hands, but otherwise, wow. So this is what it looks like. The bottom looks very clean. The corners are a little bit worn. Here's a close up. And this too, I've considered just keeping for like, pool beach type of thing, but then I have my Longchamp tote now. The stitching once again is impeccable, as you can see here, no loose stitching anywhere. And then there is wear on the sides here. Again, this is a very well-loved bag. So this is all coated cotton canvas. So it's water resistant. It's, it just, it's been so hard, hard wearing and durable, but you can see I've worn it a lot and it's starting to um, tear a little bit on the sides here. So this one I might have to just donate actually. You see? Or do I just keep it and use it? Well, I'll probably donate it. I don't want to hoard, you know? I just want to clean out what I'm not using. If I've not used it for a year, then it needs to go. And this definitely hasn't been used for a year. It's been sitting pretty in the back of my closet. This is another bag I'm going to show you in a minute. But I still have the dust bag. The Tory Burch dust bag for this. So here's the magnetic closure, just like that. And then inside is very similar to the black nylon one. You've got the uh, cottony interior, two pockets here, zipped compartment on the other side. Zipper, I can't believe the zippers on both of these totes are still so smooth. No issues, no rusting, no tarnish, no snagging. Look, look up close. And then here's the Tory Burch hardware. I don't know, sometimes I examine these bags that are more mid-price range and I think about the quality issues that we see with the higher end designer bags. It makes me pause often, I will admit that. So let me put this down and I'll show you the other bag that I had been storing inside here, which is this one here. This is my Madewell small transport crossbody bag patinaed so beautifully. I've had this for so many years. I think I bought it the first year it came out, which is like, I don't know, almost 10 years ago. Um, it's really softened. I've talked about this bag before. I've done several videos. I know many of you have since bought it and are enjoying it. And I just feel like this is the kind of bag that's really underrated. This has been a bestseller for many years from Madewell. It was reviewed by the, um, the guy Tanner Leatherstein. And well, I don't think it was reviewed by him. I think he reviewed a different Madewell bag, but um, he talked about how surprisingly good the leather quality is. So especially for the price, the value is there. So here's the zippered compartment and then the main compartment. I also had the larger one. I think I showed it many years ago, the larger um, tote version, which I, I used for work a lot. And then I let it go after, like I abused that bag really, but it still looked quite good. This one, it has this detachable strap 
and it's got several holes here one two three four five six seven at least holes to adjust got this little tab here wow it's so buttery soft like just how pliable it's become it's vegetable tanned leather and this is still available on the Madewell site it's still a bestseller but I believe this holiday season it's sold out because it's still that popular so obviously it's not a new bag it's worn and it's got some love marks <laughs> look at this pocket look how shiny it got just over time from usage and it's soft and the corners are a little worn here you can see the fading but otherwise it's a really good bag I would still keep this bag however there's another Madewell bag that I'm eyeing right now and I think I'm going to let this go and potentially buy the new one because I'm a big believer in Madewell bags and I know the quality stands the test of time so um, since this is ready for retirement from my closet I don't know if anyone is interested in this at a really bargain price obviously it'll be a fraction of the retail price let me know I'll put the information down below in my description box but um, otherwise I might just bring this to the thrift shop you know when I send these out to you guys you know when I do like typical vlog sales I usually include shipping and I try to just focus on US buyers because I don't want to have uh, complications with the shipping and these items they're probably not worth shipping internationally because then there's gonna be customs and duties and it may not be worth it for you as the buyer to have to pay that so I'm probably gonna focus on US buyers who are interested I'm gonna build in the shipping price and hopefully it'll still be a good deal for you guys if not like I said I will just figure out a way to rehome these all right next up you guys might be surprised this one is from Parisa Wang and this is the micro Madison bag with the black walrus textured leather and the black and white houndstooth tweed this bag caught my eye immediately I thought it was so super cute Parisa Wang has been super generous in sending me additional bags over the past year and I feel like I'm being greedy hanging on to all of them I'd shared some bags already with my mom and my aunt and I was thinking about doing a giveaway with this one um, because I received it from the brand here's a little zippered compartment it's got sort of like this Lady Dior-esque silhouette and then the flap with the hidden magnet so there's that and I just feel like this type of closure is not my favorite and also I got a very similar bag which I did a review I did a comparison review recently of the um, I think it's the grace top handle and I, I slightly prefer that and I share all my reasons for that in, in that video so I don't need both although this is quite unique with the tweed and it's so perfect for this fall winter season here's the strap really cute top handle it's an in, instant pretty much new like new condition so maybe I'll do a giveaway let me know what you guys think or um, I can send it to one of you just at the price at the price of shipping maybe Next up is a Polen bag. I have done several giveaways with Polen as well. I have one in my closet right now that I'm still very much enjoying. This bag I absolutely love. I think it's so pretty. But two things, two reasons why I am considering letting it go. This is the Polen Numero Sept, and it's the original size, not the mini. It's gorgeous. I don't think they even have this color combo anymore. It's like two different shades of camel it's just so pretty with the white contrast stitching this is still in excellent condition I've worn it but I haven't really worn it enough to wear it down beautiful suede lining little pocket here it's so cute it's got the accordion I I just I think why am I why am I thinking I'm getting rid of this well I might just keep it <laughs> again I might change my mind at the end of this video so nice but mainly because I feel like I gravitate towards caramel and camel tone so much that I really just I need to branch out a little bit and this is just another caramel camel toned bag it's got this strap the strap is not removable or is it I think it is I just never did it you could probably pull this through Eh, I don't think it's removable no which it would definitely be more versatile if it was removable because then you can just carry it top handle this top handle interestingly is removable if you don't want this dangling and you just want a cleaner look kind of like that 
So there's that. It looks very polished, very professional. That's the other thing. I could see myself wearing this to the office, but I don't go into the office. So you guys know I work from home. So one, two, three, four. And it's nice and thick and comfortable. It's a little on the heavy side. I did a full review on this bag. Um, but if you're interested, let me know. So this one is from Songmont. It's a little song basket bag. It's like a little dumpling. Uh, I have a friend who thinks this bag is adorable. She said it reminds her of the Hermes Lindy and Picotin blended together, which I could see. It's a beautiful grainy leather, cream color. So I'm going to actually give this to her. I'm seeing her very soon. And so this will be my little goodie to her. And it comes with this strap. I did a review on this if you guys are interested. And it also... I don't know if she'll want this too, but it's super cute. I got this little AirPod case charm with it. It's adorable. So that's what it looks like. So this is going to go and will be rehomed with my friend. I now have three other chalky cream colored bags in my collection. One is from Ateliers Auguste, one is from Parisa Wang, and the other is my collab pochette piece from Dress Up Your Purse. So this is the fourth in this sort of color family and I just feel like that's one too many because it's not very often that I wear this color bag out so I don't think I need as many but it's super cute and yeah I'm glad my friend will be able to enjoy it. And last but not least, we've got my Dior, my one and only Dior. And you guys are probably like, this again? I still have her. <laughs> so this is the Lady Dior in the blush color. It's the ABC style, um, small size. And I was just smitten immediately when I saw this color. It's the color that got me. It's a really neutral pink beige. Actually, it kind of matches my, my sweater today. Look at that. Maybe it's meant for me to keep. I mean, I've gone back, back and forth on this bag many times, and to my credit, I did put it up for sale twice, and there were several interested buyers, but for a variety of different reasons, it just never worked out, and I was listing it below retail. Gosh, the price on the Lady Dior has gone up quite a bit. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's got the zippered compartment here. Um, it does have that flap opening, which is much better, I will say, than the old school zipper, which is tricky. But this flap is something to get used to, as I mentioned on the Parisa wing, the tweed one. And then you've got the handles. I am an ASMR girl. I love the sound quality, the click clackiness. Some people say it's annoying, but I actually like it. Um, here are the feet. There are pros and cons to this bag. I did a whole video talking about my love-hate relationship with this bag. I'll link it up above if you're interested. It's a great size. And the reason why this is the ABC Dior is because it comes with the little charms. You can choose letter charms, but I chose these. A little dragonfly, a heart, and a lion. And you've got this thick, comfortable band. Kind of like this Polen, actually. It's thick, right? And it just, this, this strap makes the bag look more modern, more casual, more fresh, more fun. Whereas I think the Lady Dior by itself is quite feminine and formal and a little bit dressy and serious looking so I do like to mix it up and wear this crossbody when I wear this bag I enjoy it it's just I don't wear it a lot which is why it's still in really nice condition I haven't you know what I will show you this there's always scratches on the I've, I've seen other people talk about this the scratches on the Dior charm on the hardware the hardware gets scratched pretty quickly, like immediately. So maybe I should have left the stickers on, but I tend to just rip off the stickers as soon as I get a bag, usually. So I don't know, guys. This one, I don't want to sell it right now because the price has gone up so much. And um, I don't want to sell it at like a big loss. I'm willing to sell it below retail, but not like crazy under retail because I don't want to, like, I don't want to regret it, you know? Um, so actually, the last time I talked about this bag... Some of you said, just put it away, which I did. It was like all wrapped up in the dust bag in the box. Put it all the way in the back on the bottom of my closet so I couldn't see it. And I didn't use it for a long time, for like almost a year. And then I pulled it back out. And now that I'm like playing with it, I think it's a beautiful bag. So maybe I just need to enjoy it, make use of it and see how it goes and not be so wishy-washy about it. These kinds of bags... 
you know, a lot of people consider them like investments, not necessarily financial investments, but like wardrobe investments, meaning they don't go out of style, they're classics, they're timeless. And I do think I could enjoy this bag for many, many years as my style evolves. But I'm also being very hard on myself, I guess. I tend to be hard on myself about just making sure that I clean out when it's time to clean out. So this one I'm conflicted about. I'm not going to put a price or anything because I think I'm, I'm just going to sit on it. Yeah, but that's the 10th bag I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're interested in anything. I'll put my email address down below. I'm only going to hang on to them for like a couple days. And then I'm very quick to just move on because it's time. There's a season for adding and there's a season for removing. And right now I'm in the mindset of removing. And like I said, there's that one bag from Madewell that I'm eyeing at the moment. So check out my description box below for any additional details. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any advice for me. And let me know also at this time of year where there's a lot of buying going on especially for gifts uh, but maybe even for yourself because there's sometimes deals holiday deals are you in the mindset of buying or are you in the mindset of decluttering or are you just laying low and kind of status quo at the moment i'm curious to know um, where you guys are at leave me a comment and thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you all next time Bye bye